Hello YouTube. Just a quick test to show, um, just to have a quick peek at the output, so these two big coils, and to uh, share some ideas with you. First I'm just going to show the outputs on these two meters, uh, the amps current running directly through these meters. Now I have the coils coming down through a switch and then through a bridge rectifier. Uh, which changes the AC voltage from the coils to DC uh, for those of you who know, who would like to know uh, and then it's going through the resistor in the um, ammeter same thing over here for these big gauge coils and we're just going to look at the, um, the current and I want to talk about uh, my direction uh, where I'm going and what I'm thinking a little bit and I'm going to try and make it quick uh, my uploads have been too long I think so we have the wheel spinning just like before. We're not really doing a big test, so we're just gonna close the switches. Oh, they're down there now. We're about 13 and a half for anyone who's curious. So I'm closing the switches, and the coils are shorted through the uh, resistor in the ammeter. Wheel speeding up as before. Uh, you might notice that the wheel doesn't pick up to as much speed as before. And I've got something wrong going on here with the connection. There's something wrong in here. It made a noise just a minute ago when I tested it and then sped up and I was like, oh great. But I'm going to talk about that. This AC me DC motor's going. I'm putting a DC motor on it. But we'll talk about that. So the wheel's speeding up. As before. Now, uh, and just as it's speeding up to its top speed, which I don't really know what it is. And I'm going to talk about uh, that too. But um, just want to say, uh, for people who are wondering, what's going on here is the motor's driving the wheel, right? And there's magnets on it. The magnets are attracted to the iron in the cores, right? And so it, it has a drag on the wheel, a bit of a drag. So the motor has to overcome that, but when you use the electricity from the coils, you short them out and use the electricity somehow, which I'm going to be doing next, which I'm going to be talking about here in a minute, um, it reduces that drag and the wheel speeds up. And that's what we're going to look at next with my next um, set of tests. I actually have had a direction I'm going in here, but um, we'll talk about that. All right, I don't know if it's climbing anymore or not. Probably not. And again, there's a problem going on with the shaft and the connection or something. But these coils, this is the 25 gauge set of coils. And I gave the um, Hillbilly specs there for those coils in the last bit. Uh, it's giving uh, 0 0.06 or 7 amps, which would be 60 or 70 milliamps. And this uh, 16 gauge uh, wire set is giving uh, 0.6 amps, 600 milliamps. And uh, you notice how it, it rose, these numbers rose as the wheel sped up. This one not so much because it's giving a pretty good voltage at, at this current. Or when it's not shorted out, <laughs> the speed of the current, right? These these wire sets are somewhat close to the same weight, right, in copper, and they're different gauge, so they're going to give different voltage potentials, but and they give different currents, right? That's how it works. But the same, same, close to approximate amount of copper, right, a lot. So what this tells us is, is that this this current is going faster than this current it would give a higher voltage potential is what I'm saying. So we've had a look there. I just wanted to show you that. And again, there's, I'm going to be fixing that and, and uh, putting a DC motor on there. Right now. So what we'll do is we'll turn it off. I'll turn my meters off. Because, because it's not necessary. And she's slowing down. And if I flip the switches, she'll slow down even faster. 
<laughs> there you go. Okay, here we go. First of all, it's been a peek at the outputs. Just a peek. Wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be starting input-output testing, but we'll get to that. First, I made some talkie points. Wow, right on. Little bit of organization from the the Canadian hillbilly, right? <laughs> Hello to Billy, uh, Mr. Too Tough Too. Um, probably a lot of you know him or of his channel, but if you don't, go check him out. It's Mr. Too Tough Too, M-R-2-T-U-F-F-2, -F -F -T -U -F -F -2. Uh, a buddy of mine I was just talking to him today. Hi, Billy. I can't type that much anymore again, <laughs> like you, man. And I uh, just wanted to say hi in the video. And I'm going to be getting back to you and uh, looking into that Skypey thing. Um, my buddy Andy was uh, asking the same thing. Hi, Andy. So, guys, I'm going to look into that. And hello, and I'm going to have more vids for you. And Billy, hey, I was really glad to hear. And Andy, too. You guys are uh, testing this at home. And I can't wait to see a vid. Well, Andy, you've sent me a couple of vids, but um, Billy, I can't wait to see a vid from you. Uh, it sounds like you're getting quite an effect. So that's cool. Uh, yesterday morning, I woke up to a message that a very generous person has offered to send me a tachometer, right? So we can start measuring the, whoop, whoop, the uh, RPMs of the wheel very accurately instead of... <laughs> I will be giving you uh, um, speed measurements and voltage. <laughs> thank goodness. Right? So hooray. And thank you, sir. I, don't, I didn't know if you wanted me to mention your name or not. I didn't think so, but I'm playing it safe. But hooray. And I'll let you guys know how uh, that goes when it comes. Uh, next, the AC motor is going tonight. That's next on my list. I want to make this video quick and get it uploading because I'm what I'm gonna do is start um, I'm gonna take this thing off and I'm gonna put this DC motor it's from an electric bike an old electric bike I salvaged I welded that plate on it onto it made the plate and whatever and anyways um, I'm gonna put that on the wheel and be driving it with that now uh, for my next set of tests and I've been wanting to do it for a while and like I said I have issues to clear up here at the same time so that'll be good um, just so you know I've had that out before in a video and I have had it hooked up to the wheel but wasn't able to get it hooked up um, sufficiently let's say <laughs> at any sort of speed it really wanted to absolutely come right apart the whole wheel so I didn't use it, tried other things, I, want, I had testing I wanted to do, and um, now we're getting back to it. And I'll, with the meters that I have, I'll be able to test input like I did with DC motors in the past. And um, we'll get to see all the numbers. And it's more important now anyways. Um, it hasn't been so important with the investigations we're, we've been doing. Uh, which brings me to my next talking point. Uh, the push tests are done uh, for the ones that I want to do right we uh, found out some very important things right uh, very simply I might add and point out uh, we really didn't need to get into all those other things what at first you know I've had some direction uh, when I first discovered this effect um, you know I was really 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 gung-ho like um, fanatical you know I'm a I'm a Christian so <laughs> I kind of liken it to that you know I was a, a lunatic fanatic Christian too at one time still am I guess uh, but more so <laughs> in the past <laughs> anyways um, but my first set of you know I've had a line of scientific thought here although this is not my forte field of science um, I have had a line of thought here and the first test I wanted to do were push tests to test the push on the wheel right so I need just barely, I just basically needed something to drive the wheel while I was doing that. So we found out some very important things too, right? We found out that basically we get the same push from 16 gauge and 25 gauge, which is very, very, very cool. And his implications, right? It, it told us that it was the amount of copper. So I increased the amount of copper. And um, again, we got more of an effect, right? So we've proved the serious things that we needed to prove uh, in an uncomplicated way and but now we're moving on uh, to the input output tests uh, where were we 
All right, amount of copper, wire gauge, again, important thing we found out, and the amount of copper. And also that I did it in my hillbilly way. You know, we didn't need all those other big measurements uh, then. But now we're going to start getting into that. Oh, first, no core tests. Um, but that was my next line of reasoning, was that I would be do, uh, doing tests on the cores, the amount of iron. Um, again, I've given my redneck uh, Canadian coil and core specs in my other video there, if you're interested. My last video. Um, but... Uh, we learned so much from the push tests it, it, in relation of the the copper in relation to the amount of iron we learned what we need to learn uh, in doing that so uh, for what I want to do right my direction um, and and that was what I wanted to say here um, What I'm doing is seeing how far this will go, right? That's my push, that's my drive. People have asked. And so I can't get right back to everyone right right away. And um, But uh, I wanted to share that, seeing how far, uh, that's my, that's what I, I wanna see how far this will go, right? Before, I don't, I'm not interested in getting real tied up in the semantics of, say, um, the permeability test of the core or we've learned the vital vital things that we've needed to learn and, and very simply right uh da -da -da, seeing how far it'll go that's what that's what i'm doing so the, co the more core tests aren't really needed for that that is how i see it we've learned so much and iron is good right copper um ed says iron's good right he repeated it in his book and um that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to continue using the same cores. I've gotten out the small original wheel and motor um, from my original video after I discovered this effect. Uh, or came across it, you know, put it together, discovered it, whatever. I'm not trying to... Oh, well, whatever. So I've got the small wheel from those original videos, right? When I was on my kitchen floor here. And uh, I've got that out. Uh, I'm going to be driving it with the little DC motor again. I don't have it out right now, but um, that's, I still have it. And I have magnets for it. There's four. I'm going to put uh, two layers, like on this big boy, and um, do input, input output testing on that as well. So I'll be working with both wheels. I have two wheels to test with. And both I'll be able to measure input and output, right? because they'll both be DC and my meters are able to measure that. Da -da -da. Oh, also that little DC motor that I had hooked up over here only required a few watts, which will be interesting, uh, having had a peek at the output. Uh, da -da -da. And also to go with that, I was in those original tests using the same cores, right? So not a whole lot's changing, right? So you hopefully can see where this is going. Did it, did, uh, sure. Oh, I, I did that first. Okay, so that's basically uh, what I wanted to say. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And I wanted to throw this video together pretty quickly. I don't know how long it is. But, um, and get it uploading because that thing's going right now. I can't wait. I'll be tearing that off and um, putting the DC motor on maybe doing some testing and uh, or putting that one together as well and then starting heavy duty testing well not heavy duty testing but you know what I mean start testing on the input output um, which was my plan for my line of hillbilly Canadian investigations <laughs> there you go but, uh, people um, hello to everyone out there. I can't say hi to everyone, so hello everyone. Um, and I'll talk to you later. I'll have another vid real soon. Talk to you later.